Hi guys, welcome to our session. This session is about how Tacker works and our plan to deploy the Tacker in the cloud. Hussein from Newaj and me will jointly present this session. My name is Jinto and uh, I come from China Mobile. I'm leading SDN team in China Mobile Sudo Research Center. Our company is responsible for building public clouds and private clouds for China Mobile Group. We have built 50 clouds across China. There are more than 10,000 nodes have been deployed in our, in our cloud. There are three parts in our presentation. I will present the first part. Uh, Hussein will present the second part. Uh, we will leave five minutes for Q&A. Okay, let's get started. First, let me give you an overview about China Mobile Public Cloud and uh, what is our current implementation of SDN and NHV. And then, the problem to manage these NHV components and uh, what is our solution. And in the end, we will give you guys several examples about how to use Tacker to solve, to solve this problem. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let's all have a look at uh, China Mobile Public Cloud. There are around uh, 3,000 nodes in China Mobile Beijing and Guangzhou data centers. They are running on top of OpenStack Halo. We plan to add uh, 2,000 more nodes by later of this year. Two more data centers will be added soon, and uh, the total size by 2020 of our public cloud will reach 30,000 nodes. China Mobile Public Cloud offers SaaS, PaaS, and ICE today. Let's focus on the infrastructure as a service part. There are six major components in the ICE, computer storage, network security, management, and monitor. For the network part, we provide the VPC service, CDN service, FIP, VPN service and uh, load balancer to the end user. Some details about our network service. From the user experience part, tenants can define their own VPC topology and they can select the networking service like subnet, security group, virtual router, virtual firewall, virtual load balancer, FIP, PAT, rate limit, and uh, VPN. Our public cloud support a very large scale, support 16 million isolated virtual networks, support 10,000 virtual routers and 100,000 subnets. In our cloud SD network, all the virtual routers and the switches are fully distributed. There is no central point and no traffic harmony. Here is our public cloud at its structure, it includes three tiers. The first tier is called the service logic tier. It manages the business logic of the cloud. It's called operation platform, which is a portal for the end users to manage customer configuration and the service logic. 
the network administrator uses NeoRGVSD VSD to manage the network policy. The second tier is service control tier. All the network resources are controlled and managed by Neutron in this tier, including network, subnet, port, security group, virtual router, volume IP, virtual firewall, virtual load balancer, and the VPN. The last tier is NeoRG SDN and the NV solution. This is current OpenStack SDN and NV management architecture. OpenStack Neutron manages the SDN controller, all the virtual network related operations and the NV related operations are both managed by Neutron via different plugins. On the left side is the OpenStack controller nodes, which run Nova, Keystone, Glass, Cinder, Neutron, etc. Neutron core plugin called Neuragi VSD REST API. VSD called Neuragi VSC via XMPP. VSC control Neuragi VRS via VSDB and, and OpenFlow. <coughs> VRS run uh, compute nodes and NV nodes, VRS implements network, subnet, ports, query group, DVR, distributed visual room, source NT, plat, uh, floating IP functions, the firewall, the firewall as a service, load balancer as a service, and the VPN as a service are implemented by the firewall VM, LB VM, and the VPN VM, which run on NV nodes. 7750 is controlled by VSC as 7750 is VSLAN gateway device for for the south south north traffic. Here is the problem problem and the challenges. As upstream the first the first problem is as upstream neutral limitation, which is SD and NV appliance management deploy. Deeply, deeply coupled from the OpenStack management plan. It's very difficult to decouple NV function from the SD. As this limitation, it's also impossible to have multiple NV vendors work on, the, on top of the same SD controller. The problem too is that Upstream neutron is quite difficult to support multiple vendors for the same VF because there is no general mechanism to manage the life cycle of the VF. For example, it's quite hard to support multiple vendors firewall for the firewall as a service. The problem three is current upstream neutron only support a very limited VF function. For example, the firewall as a service only support ACL, no status support, no application layer feature support. For most commercial firewall, only 30% functions are supported by Neutron Firewall as a service API. The problem for is there are no API defined for the security for the security appliance, for example, IDS, IPS, WAF, and so on. The problem five, there is no mechanism to support VF resource auto-scaling. For example, upstream neutron can support to add load balancer VM or to enhance the capacity of load balancer VM in a load balancer cluster automatically. The problem six, Upstream Neutron doesn't support multiple DC, SDN, and NV operation. For example, Upstream Neutron API can support spawn two load balancer instances at the same time in two different data centers. And now let's, let's talk about the Tacker solution. Tacker is based on ETSI model architecture framework and provides FVO and the VFM to orchestrate network service for end-to-end -end using VF. Tacker is designed to support multiple VM sites. Tacker has four kind of drivers: infra driver, 
monitoring driver, management driver, and SFC driver. If we use OpenStack as a VM, Tekra's infra, infra driver will call hit to create a VF instance. The monitoring driver, management driver are used to manage, in, to manage and config, configure vendor's VF. The SFC driver is used to chain VF, uh, VF's traffic by call SD controllers API. Here is a new architecture. New train is used to manage SD only. The firewall, the firewall as a service, LB as a service, and the VPN as a service are not used for firewall load balancer and the VPN appliance. In, in the new framework, we use Tekker to manage the firewall, LB, VPN, the NHT gateway, and uh, uh, all the security VFs. Tekker calls his SDN controllers API to interact with the, the SDN. Now let's have a quick review uh, the problems which we discussed in the previous pages. The first problem, Tekra decouples SDN and MV management easier. Uh, the, 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 question, the problem two, Tekra enables SDN work with multiple vendors VF easier. The problem three. <coughs> Tekra in, uh, we can support all the all the commercial VF features because Tekra has no API limitation. The problem four. Tekra enables the security appliance management. VF Appliance auto scaling are supported using Tekra's monitoring driver and uh, management driver. Uh, multi multiple DC SD and MV management is supported because Tekra can manage multiple VM. Now, uh, case study. Uh, in, in this case, we intend to show how to use Hacker to support vendors' advanced features and manage the security appliance. On the left side, we use Hacker's VFD templates to manage Hillstone's Cloud Edge firewall. Hillstone is a China local security company. After we implement Hacker, we use OpenStack to manage and config configure almost all the vendors' advanced firewall feature. This will not happen if we use upstream neutron to manage. And uh, on the right side, we use Tekra's VFGD template to manage Hillstone's IDS, IPS, and WAF. With this implementation, we can use OpenStack to manage and configure the IDS, IPS, WAF. What's more, we can change the traffic between these security VF. This will definitely definitely not happen if we use upstream neutral. And uh, uh, this is a case study for VF appliance uh, auto scaling management. In this case, we use LVS and uh, HA proxy to build a load balancer cluster. The LVS is LB front end and the HA proxy is LB back end. Tekra is able to automatically add or remove HA proxy appliance to load balancer cluster on demand. Which means with this feature, OpenStack is able to auto scale in or out for the VF functions. This feature is very hard to be supported by upstream OpenStack neutral. Okay, that's all my presentation. Uh, Hussein will present the next part. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jeff. So equally important in this um, enablement of new architecture is uh, the networking part. So we at Nuage have a virtualized networking platform that complements um, what's available in OpenStack to enable projects like Tacker to take full advantage of them. Um, and I'll start with the management layer. At the top, uh, basically, uh, is represented by this virtualized service directory 
which is a policy manager that has a northbound API. And we can support multiple cloud management systems, and that API can be used by any other orchestrator that either sets adjacent to them, um, and that's where attacker can make additional supplementary calls that are supported by, to the ones that are supported by Neutron to enable advanced functionality from a networking perspective. It's also a multi-tenant solution, so you can comp have complete isolation between tenants for the different network functions using the same infrastructure and platform. Um, this next layer is um, the control uh, plane, which is represented by the VSC, which essentially is a virtualization of a, a service router that Alcatel, Lewis, and Nokia had for 15 years. So it's basically a full-blown um, service router control plane that supports all of the routing protocols, OSPF, ISIS, BGP. And what that enables you um, to do is to federate controllers as you have You've seen from their uh, network, it's a massive network in terms of the number of hosts supported that span multiple data centers. So your ability to federate controllers will allow you to add and expand your footprint across data centers by just adding pairs of controllers for redundancy and, and peer with a PA router to go across the one. Um, the third layer um, is the data plane, which is another important piece here where we allow you to support virtualized workloads, uh, virtual network functions, connected to bare metal assets or other appliances. Uh, and even if you're looking at containers, we can actually provide net distributed routing, switching, and service chain capabilities to connect those different workloads. So no matter where your virtual network function is uh, and where the traffic it needs to serve or process comes from, you, you have that continuity, regardless of what infrastructure you have and where it is. Um, the other thing is uh, we work with partners on acceleration, so the Exxon offload, OVS off. There's a lot of um, different uh, network functions that need specific requirements that having a data plane that can adapt to those and enable them with the service chain and quality of service, uh, one, uh, like ex some sort of acceleration, that's available to you in the data plane. Now, how does this fit into the, the architecture? If you look at it, um, the first pro one of the problems was multi-data center or multi-open multi stack instances. So the solution, because of that ability to have multiple tenancy um, and then as well as the API uh, interface, TACA can make direct calls to supplement the calls that come through Neutron to enable that uh, enhanced or advanced functionality for the VNFs. You can actually span data centers, whether with complete isolated open stack instances or one kind of open stack instance that spans multiple data centers. And from a service chain perspective, you can support scale out of a particular network function. You can have um, advanced functionality um, and you're open to uh, a broad set of, uh, of vendors that basically can be programmed through an API and then you can hook with advanced network functionality through an API from TACA to the new Azure VST. Um, and this kind of concludes uh, the presentation and, and we'll basically open up for questions if, uh, if, uh, if you guys have any. Um, and if, uh, if you do have questions, you can step up to the mic so um, the questions get recorded. Hi. Um, so I'm gathering uh, from the design that uh, uh, the essence of a service chain, for example, would be uh, communicated to both uh, the, the Nuage uh, control infrastructure and then to the VNFs from TACR. Is, is that true? Uh, yes. Hey there, can you give a quick update on auto scaling? Uh, it was an idea for a while and, and uh, I mean is it is auto scaling working in TACR now? Is it deployed recently or, or is it still in progress? Uh, okay, we, we just uh, uh, test the, the function uh, because the TACR has a monitoring driver and a management driver. So we, we use the open source uh, uh, load balancer like uh, LVS and H policy. They, uh, 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 construct the uh, load balancer uh, cluster. We just try, uh, but it's not uh, on the commercial use.
All right. Well, thank you very much for your time.